hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial on solving system of linear equations so let me write the title this is a continuation of our previous tutorial so we are still talking about a uh, system of equations and uh, in this tutorial we are going to solve the system in different way so system of linear equations okay so this is our title let's write two equations for a system which are twice x minus y equal to zero and another equation is gonna be twice x plus 3y equal to 16 and the degree of the equations are one for both that means degree of the system also one and as we already talked about if the degree is one then we call it linear system that means there there must be a common solutions for both of equations so let's find out them so we can solve this system of equations three different way one by one i will discuss all of them first let's start with substitution but let me tell you in summary like three methods number one is substitutions let me write substitution number two is comparison and number three elimination these are the three methods by which we can solve a linear system of equations we'll go through each method step by step to solve a system of equations and discuss when it's best to use is method to make this tutorial more engaging i will use different examples from those usually comes in talk exam we'll start with fast substitution so let me write it here substitution i'm gonna skip the whole name for saving our time so our common equation was 2x minus y equal to 0 and 2x plus 3y equal to 16 so these are the two equations so let me write once again 2x minus y equal to 0 and the second equation equation was 2x plus 3y equal to 16 so let's move on to our next step so let me explain what is substitution the substitution method involves solving all of the equations for one variable and substituting its expression into the other equation this is particularly useful when one equation is simple or can be or can be easily managed so uh, i hope you understood it's very easy so in this method first of all let's solve first equations we can write this way 2x equal to y now we can either y equal to 2x or 2x equal to y both are the same so uh, we can substitute within this line now what we can see our second equation first term is twice x so from the first equation we already know y equal to twice x so let's substitute twice x equal to y and then let's write the rest of the things rest of the terms 3y equal to 16 in our next operation what we can write twice x equal to y and y plus 3y becomes 4y and it keeps 16 so our next step is finding out the value of y so 2x equal to y as it is and y equal to 16 divided by 4 which gives us 4 so from the second equations we found that y equal to 4 now the value of y we, we have to substitute in equation 1 and which will give us the value of x so let's substitute it to and value of y equal to 4 so we can write 2x equal to 4 y equal to 4 our next line x equal to 2 and y equal to 4 so this is our answer so in substitution method what we have to do is first solve one equations and then substitute the value of variable from first equations to second equations and this way we can find the solutions our second method is comparison okay so second method is comparison okay so the comparison method involves solving both equations for the same variables and then equating the two expressions this works when the both equations can be easily rearranged so let's write the equations once again our equation was 2x minus y equal to 0 and 2x plus 3y equal to 16 so next line we can write this way 2x equal to y and here okay so as i told 
you we have to uh, solve the equations both equations for the same variables so let's solve both equations for x so 2x equal to y in this case 2x equal to 16 minus 3y we're going to find out the value of x first third step we can write this way x equal to y divided by 2 and for second equation it becomes x equal to 16 minus 3y divided by 2 okay now we know the value of x and which is more simpler than value comes from second equations so what we can do is we can simply substitute the value of x in second equation then the second equations becomes like having a single variable which is is now easy to solve x equal to y divided by 2 and y equal to here 16 minus 3y we can cancel 2 at bottom from both side now x equal to y by 2 as it is and here it becomes 4y the left hand side becomes 4y because uh, if you bring minus 3y to the left side it becomes positive and y plus 3y becomes 4y and then 16 so this expression we know because we already find it from our first method so y equal to we get 4 now our final step we know y equal to 4 now and this value we can write here which will give us the value of x so we are here for our answer so this method we have to apply when we'll see the both equations are simple and easy to rearrange for these equations we have seen our first method was faster however let's try with last step i mean last method which is method three we call it elimination elimination already here so in this method what we'll do is let's write the equations first twice x minus y equal to zero and our second equation is twice x plus 3y equal to 16. so the elimination method involves adding or subtracting the two equations to eliminate one variable this is particularly efficient when the coefficient of one variable are the same or can be easily made the same so what we can say here let's say twice x minus y equal to zero twice x plus three y equal to 16 so using elimination method what we can do is we can subtract because already we can see our first term for both case are the same so if we just subtract equation one from equation equation two from equation one then this first term will be eliminated and we can easily get the value of y so we are subtracting equation 2 from 1 this way so we can change the sign of second equation here negative twice x negative 3y and negative 16 okay so we are going to actually adding two equations algebraic addition so first terms eliminate then the next term becomes minus y and minus 3y equal to minus 16 let's write the standard way now we can write this way okay let's solve it here this is easier i think minus 4y equal to minus 16 then y gives us 4 so we found the value of 4 now if you substitute this 4 to our first equations it will give us the value of y let's write it value of x i'm sorry twice x minus 4 equal to 0 and here we get y equal to 4 which will give us x equal to 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 and y equal to 4 so once again the value of x and y we could determine by the elimination process so dear students these are the three different methods to solve the system of equations and of course you have to remember that the system must be linear that means first degree so if system is deg first degree then there must be be intersection of both equations so there will be distinct solution that means the same solution can be you know, must be valid for both equations so try at home try with different linear equations and try to solve them so i hope it won't make you stressed because it's super easy so thank you so much for listening and see you in our next tutorials